Hey guys, it is time for another sketchbook update. Uh, this is a much different sketchbook than I've been doing. Normally I do the Strathmore Tone Tan sketchbooks, which are like these. And for this one, I did the Strathmore Heavyweight Drawing Paper. And all the drawings in here are going to be pen and ink and marker. And so this first drawing is Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Um, basically I use Copic markers like this for the colors and to do my initial pencil sketch I just use a mechanical rotring pencil and then for the inside lines uh, for the detail stuff I use a 0.1 Stedler pen and this pen can vary and then a Faber-Castell brush pen for the outlines. So uh, this first drawing, I really like the pose. I actually referenced a pose, uh, pose on the internet for this one and I just thought it was really cool, really dynamic and uh, I've done other Ninja Turtle drawings. In fact, there's a couple of videos I did of them. One is a marker video as well of Raphael and this one turned out a million times better than that one. So um, just you know, sometimes uh, you make good decisions with the colors and things like that. I felt like I was much too dark with the other one. And I just really like uh, the skin tone and the detail of this one. Much more subdued colors. And I think you'll like it turned out a lot better. So, uh, And then I did a kind of a random page of just a bunch of brush pen faces. Couldn't think of anything to draw, so I just started drawing faces. This is a kind of Sith warrior girl. Um, she's just sitting on a pile of bodies. I'd used limited color on this one, so her skin, everything is gray, uh, Copic, and then just a little red and some of that blue uh, for pops of color, and overall, I felt like this was a pretty effective drawing. You can see in the bodies and stuff, I really like the contrast you get with those really thin pins uh, and those nice thick outlines. That is that drawing. Next one. So I'm really into the TV show Powers right now. And this is Super Shock is his name in the show. His face is totally stupid looking. Uh, I didn't really spend actually a lot of time on the pencil drawings on these. These go a lot faster than some of my other drawings. Um, his body is awesome. I really like the way his body looks in this one and but his face oh my gosh you know that's terrible it just doesn't capture the character his hair is way too poofy which I've had that problem in the past before but uh, his body I really like I love the white the gray like especially this part right here there's a lot of subtle like value change um, and then his uh, stomach and anatomically feels pretty dang good so for the most part I like this drawing minus his head if I could just I might photoshop his head off there just to have a finished portfolio piece without a head on it uh, or with a new head anyway uh, this is a gender swap hell girl so hell boy but the girl version um, I used colored pencil mixed in with the marker on this one so on the skin there's like red colored pencil in there. Uh, it lets you get a little bit more um, there's actually a couple colored pencils. There's a skin tone in there too for highlights. So, But uh, I like the way this one turned out a lot. Uh, I feel like it's a cool drawing. Um, her face turned out a lot better than Super Shocks. But I added little wings just a little different touch to her versus the real Hellboy. Uh, gave her a different outfit. She still has the big gun. And then I had this cute little Hell Kitty in the background so and some skulls down there this is Starfire my kind of version of Starfire uh, no reference on this one and no reference on the last one too so these were figures straight out of my head uh, one thing I learned about this um, drawing dynamic poses is that you really want I, I've been having a lot of success starting out with the angle of the shoulders and then basing my hips how they're angled on the shoulders um, 
and I feel like it's giving me much more natural dynamic poses. So uh, this one also has some colored pencil. Uh, the top is all colored pencil, which there's some screw up stuff on this one. Like the colored pencil, when I blew uh, like the excess pencil off, you can see that dirtied up the paper and it's really hard to get that off. So I don't know, I didn't really like, you can see on the thigh and stuff like that too, some of that excess pencil kind of I don't know, marred up the drawing a little bit, but not too bad of a drawing. Kind of fun. Much better than my video that I did of how to draw Starfire. That's probably one of my worst videos I've ever done, if you've seen that video. Uh, just terrible. Don't watch that video. <laughs> it's terrible. So here's a cool uh, kind of idea of Captain America mixed with Punisher. Captain Punisher is what I called this one. I did a real quick pen sketch of like some city rubble in the background so you can see the skull on his chest so kind of like I took away a shield on this one because with this idea I wanted to show like America is kind of you know taking on a more offensive role in its you know view of the world and uh, warfare and things like that is where Captain America's shield kind of is a symbol for America defending itself. This Captain Punisher guy has a big old 50 cal uh, gun that, you know, kind of shows a more offensive approach, approach, so. This is another page where I was just practicing with the pins. These are all poses from my head, just kind of dynamic poses. You can see working with, you know, perspective a little there. And just working on different poses real quick. No erasing, no pencil lines, just drawing out lines. Uh, here is a Doc Octopus sketch, and this is just gray and black. If you saw this picture on Instagram, his face was different on Instagram. It was way more cartoony. I, I wanted to change it a bit, so. But uh, I liked the, how dynamic this drawing was. I felt like it was much more entertaining how he, he fills the space um, better. He's, he moves into the background and he moves into the foreground and it's just a more entertaining uh, composition and so moving forward I wanted my characters to have a little bit more of that. So having said that this drawing is Savage Dragon which when I was 12 I lost all my comic books because Eric Larson's Savage Dragon comics were a little bit too violent for my mom's taste. <laughs> but anyway, I tweeted this to Eric Larson and he retweeted it, which is so cool. That's one area where social media, like, uh, you know, it's awesome. You can connect with, you know, your idols as a kid to some degree. Uh, Savage Dragon was, you know, I love Savage Dragon as a comic book and Eric Larson, the guy that created it, has seen my artwork, so that's kind of cool. So this is just black pen um, outline kind of drawing because I knew that I was going to color this in in Photoshop. So I just took a picture of it and sent it to Photoshop, which I will post that digital image next right now so you can see that. And this is just vision gender swap. So. So yesterday I was drawing with my daughter and my wife said you should draw Storm from the X-Men because I'm totally on a comic book kick right now. And so I said sure. So again, focusing more on a dynamic pose. This pose is straight from my head. Uh, taking in all the things I've been learning like not making the rib cage too wide. And then yeah, just uh, you know, taking everything I've learned and putting it all together in one drawing. And Again, I colored this one in Photoshop, so I'll put that one right here. And here is the Catwoman, similar type of deal. Just started, wanted to draw a comic book character again, and drew Catwoman. So, and this one is also colored in Photoshop, uh, using my Wacom Cintiq. Uh, that's what I've used for all the digital work I do. Um, and this one's really dynamic. Again, the figure is moving into the foreground and the background. Very dynamic, very fun. These are all, the, all these drawings are trying to get me in preparation for maybe doing a graphic novel coming up here. So the style is much quicker than my pencil style. Uh, it's more traditional comic book style. Um, so yeah, uh, I feel like I've, you know, 
at, at, with every drawing I've gotten better. Uh, this is a style, you know, that takes a lot of practice and especially with the poses and things like that. Um, just being confident in my poses and doing exaggerated poses. Well guys, that is the video. Uh, this is an entire sketchbook full, so I am done with that. Um, I'm starting back on my tone tan stuff for a little while. As you can see, this sketchbook is full of black ink comic book stuff. So very different than what I normally do. I uh, hope you guys like this kind of departure from what I normally do. Um, so anyway, that's the video, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a like. And uh, if you know anybody who's into art and drawing stuff, uh, maybe share it with them. But uh, thanks for watching.